So far, everything I've demonstrated has been in a single pattern. However, like I mentioned at the beginning of the course, FL Studio is capable of using many different patterns, and that's one of the reasons why it has such a great workflow. Here, I have an example of a simple bass line made using Trillion. Now, let me preface this by saying that the way you use patterns is entirely a matter of preference. Um, so this is just the way I like to use patterns, and you can use this as a sort of a foundation and adjust your own workflow however you prefer. Basically, I like to group similar instruments in a single pattern. So let's say I want to create a drum part. Rather than writing the drum part in this baseline pattern, I'm going to switch to a new one. At the top of the step sequencer, you'll see what pattern is currently selected. You can change this by clicking on the name of the pattern or by scrolling through the numerical display here. Before I create my drum pattern, I'll keep things organized by naming this one Baseline using F2. A quick way to move to the next empty pattern is by pressing F4. I want my drum part to be two measures, so first I'll change the number of beats in this pattern to eight. And then I'll write a simple kick and clap pattern. And now, using the piano roll, I'll write some notes using a contact drum kit. And this sounds pretty good layered. This is the kind of thing that I had in mind. But this is just a single drum groove in a single pattern. I want to make a variation so it's not just the same two bars over and over for the whole song. Rather than start from scratch, I can hit Shift, Control, and C to clone this pattern into a new one. Or I can just select Clone from the pattern dropdown. Now, making a few modifications to the step sequencer and the piano roll, I've created a new variation very easily. At some point, you're going to end up with quite a few patterns. Uh, it could be dozens or it could even be hundreds, as some of my projects uh, end up at. So it really is a good idea to name them as you go. If you forget to do this, there is one other tool you can use to help out, called the Project Picker. By hitting Control, Alt, and F8, you can view all of your patterns at a glance. And this is pretty handy stuff because, as you can see, it also shows your active channels, which you can hover over for a quick preview of what's in them.